That was the most scared I've ever been truck camping. I'm not joking. What do I do? What do I do? This sucks. Jack just died, I guess. And I'm not saying it wasn't dangerous, because it was. Welcome back to Roaming Reckless, where my dog Blue and I are truck camping our way through every single one of the 50 United States, living out of my 27-year-old imported Defender. In this episode, we run into some pretty bad luck over and over and over again, which leads me to introduce you to one of the most prominent aspects of truck camping full-time, Murphy's Law. It simply states, what can go wrong will go wrong. We're starting off today on what I thought was going to be a three-day camping trip up in the Alaskan mountains where I had rented a dry camp Yurt. It was going to be really great, okay? But as you'll see, that is not what ends up happening in this episode at all. Hi, we're going to a yurt that we have to hike to, two miles in the middle of the woods, and we're going to be staying there for three days. So this is going to be dry camping, so we've got to take all of our supplies with us. There's going to be nothing there for us but firewood. We've got to hurry up and get packed. We're starting up here. Our yurt is down here. Almost two miles, shouldn't take us too long. Sun is setting right now though, so it's probably gonna get dark pretty quick after we get there. <laughs> Blue is just having the time of his life. We're 15 minutes into our walk. My back is already killing me, so gotta love scoliosis. <laughs> Oh man, good times. This really isn't too bad of a hike though. I mean, it's just basically like compacted snow, super easy to walk on, so that's good. We have like, I don't know, probably a mile and a half left. Ooh, I think, I don't know, I'm totally guessing. <laughs> totally guessing. Okay. How pretty though. What a beautiful walk. Bubby, are you excited for the yurt? We've never stayed in a yurt before. Cool. The historic Iditarod Trail from Seward to Nome is a thousand miles long. The portion we're on right now is 25 miles. This was used as a winter dog sled mail route until the Alaska Railroad established regular service between Seward and Fairbanks. Cool. We're in Balto's territory. <laughs> we're in Narnia, bub. starting to get a little bit dark. My back is killing me. Now to self, don't hike in a Patagonia bag. I thought I'd be fine for just a couple miles, but <laughs> this hurts. <laughs> but look at this. Are you joking? That mountain right there? Are you joking? Okay, this is so exciting. For a minute there, I was worried this wasn't gonna be like a super picturesque spot, but it's looking good so far. I actually feel like I'm in Narnia. Like, come on. <laughs> Says that we're 322 feet away. Rabbit's camp here. Heck yeah. Here we go, bub. Just in time before dark. Oh my gosh, how cute. This view. Bubby, how exciting. Okay, come on, bud. Those icicles. <laughs> oh my 
my gosh. Look at the skylight. There's a little skylight. Oh, it's so cute. This is so cute, Bubby. <laughs> oh my gosh. <sighs> Someone remind me to get a hiking backpack. A proper one. Thanks. Okay, other than my back being destroyed. <laughs> I'm super geeked. Oh, it's, oh, I see. Oh. The skylight and the windows really add to this place. I'm very excited. I just, I love being in the mountains. I love anything with a good view, as I'm sure most people do. So this location is way better than I was anticipating, which makes this all that more exciting. I'm really glad we got it for a few nights. The good thing is that the temperatures have been more mild recently. Like I think it's only gonna be 18 or 20 at night over the next couple of days, which to us is like a sauna. I was out in shorts in 15 degree weather the other day because I've been so scarred by negative 55 for two weeks. So I think as long as we keep a little fire going, it's gonna be really cozy in here, which is good because I didn't bring that many blankets. <laughs> All right, sir. You look in your snowy paws. Okay, excuse me. Get out. Get out of your jacket. Good boy. All right, you come in the front door. Our little bunk bed. I'll just sleep on the bottom with blue. Wood stove. The nature center stocks the wood, so we can use as much of that as we need. Chairs over there. Let's get a fire going and then dinner because I'm starving. wet, which is not good. Now we're cooking. I've been working on the fire for like two hours at this point and I am running out of fire starters. I really don't know what else to do. It's like all of the wood is wet and nothing well. I have all, like, I don't even know if you can see all this, but I have all this like kindling. I've been trying to restart the fire every time, like tinier and tinier. It only burns with a fire starter. And then as soon as it wears out, it goes away. It's just too wet. And there's so much smoke in here. It's like not even funny. So it's just like, <laughs> Bad luck, I guess, that the wood they stocked is wet. Now my pickle is, is that it's pitch dark. While I could go back to Poe, it's pretty early in the night still, it's like eight o'clock. Do I really wanna walk 45 minutes straight in the pitch dark through the Alaskan wilderness? No, I don't wanna do that in the dark, but I can't stay here if there's no fire. I mean, I, get, I think it's only supposed to be like 18 tonight. <laughs> So maybe we could tough it out, I don't know. But then it's like, I also don't wanna like start toughing it out and then decide at like three in the morning I can't take it. So it's just like, what do I do? What do I do? This sucks. I give the fire one last ditch effort using the one log left I have that I think is semi not wet. So we'll see what happens. See how smoky it is in here? Just from like dealing with wet wood. Good boy. I feel like Blue and I are gonna have to make the trek in the middle of the night back to Poe because I just can't risk the fire not working and then Blue getting cold in the middle of the night. I think Blue and I are just gonna have to go back to Poe. So at least we have the diesel heater. I'm gonna leave some of my stuff here and come back and get it in the morning when it's light out. And like we can't even breathe in here. What the heck? This sucks. This sucks. I can't even make this like an LOL moment because it's not. Yeah, this fire is crap. Well, Bubby, <laughs> are you ready for uh We're gonna have to try to like sprint back. I can't believe this is happening. <laughs> it's like I can't even breathe. Oh man, Bubby. What did we get ourselves into?
All right, kid, here we go. I've got my knife. I've got three light sources plus my phone. Bubby's ready to go. Leaving stuff here to pick up tomorrow morning. Let's go to the heat, bub. Yeah. This sucks. Bubby. It took us like 45 minutes to get up to the yurt. I'm hoping with my lighter pack weight, I should be able to get back a lot faster. Yep, come on, kid. Well, not really time to like play, but I like the positive energy. Hallelujah, po. Oh. I've never been so happy to see this truck in my life. <laughs> Holy crap. That was not fun. truck with a diesel heater is more important for blue and I always have to put him first and although that was a very scary hike back and I'm not saying it wasn't dangerous because it was I'm glad that we made it back safe thank god and um now blue will be warm all night and that's what's important and tomorrow we will leisurely wake up and when we feel like it we will go back and get the rest of our stuff from the yurt. Man, that was a fail though. What a fail. Oh, my eyes hurt from the smoke. Okay, I'm done complaining. I'm happy to be back. We're gonna stay positive. Oh my gosh, Bobby, we have so much stuff in here. Here is blowing like freezing air. It's never happened before. Gucci burr. <laughs> Are you happy to be back in Popo, Bub? Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Someone's sleepy four mile hike for nothing. Uh. Fuel supply, H1 service. Fuel supply or pump. <laughs> That's great. And the diesel heater is blowing freezing cold air. Okay, cool, the diesel heater broke already. <laughs> mm. 
Yeah, I feel you, bub. That switch call Murphy's Law. All right. I'll go ahead and turn that sucker off. And that's why you carry a buddy heater. Oh, we should take her jacket off. We should take her jacket off. just go ahead and take this as a sign that today has been enough so I think I'm gonna head to bed and thank God for the buddy heater thank God that post still running okay and uh, we're just gonna start over tomorrow tomorrow will be a better day okay <laughs> good night oh my gosh it smells like smoke Okay, let's pack up and clean this place out. Frozen solid. Good thing we didn't stay last night. I guess there's a little water in there. Little bit of slush. You wanna try to eat some food? I can't believe that we walked that trail all the way back last night. There's a sign in here talking about an aggressive bear in the area, and granted, bears are hibernating right now, but they do come out of hibernation every once in a while, and we're in aggressive bear territory, so. Oh, it's hilarious. Would you like some frozen lunch? Sit. Wait. Hey, sit. Wait. There you go. says in recent weeks a black bear with bad behavior attempted to gain access to all three yurts. He or she slashed the vinyl coverings in various places. They had to cancel reservations for weeks so <laughs> that bear is roaming reckless. <laughs> per checkout instructions were supposed to sweep so I did. We technically also are not supposed to leave anything but I am gonna leave fire starters for the next people because I feel like what if they don't have any and it's like their only hope to get a fire going. So I am gonna leave fire starters for them right next to the matches. Hopefully that helps them if they can get a fire going. Good for them. <laughs> I'm quickly gonna sign the little book and then we're gonna head out. I think I really hurt my hip somehow yesterday on this hike. I did fall into a snowbank at one point. Um, so maybe that's what did it, but I feel like I pulled something. So I've been like hobbling ever since. <laughs> which is great. Love being injured. Roaming Reckless was here. <laughs> Roaming Reckless was unsuccessfully here, but we came nonetheless. If anybody comes to this yurt in Eagle River, find this and send it to me. Send me a little picture. I put the caps on the wrong colors. She's so chaotic. All right, let's get out of here, bub. We gotta hike back to Poe and get ourselves to town because, because we have an appointment tomorrow to get the diesel heater fixed. So I gotta go buy more propane. Gotta find somewhere to camp. We gotta make dinner and we gotta get Poe to a diesel heater appointment. But first we have a 45 minute hike back with your mom having an injured hip, right? Yeah. You're the cutest dog on planet Earth, bub. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Wish us luck.
still the most stunning view ever. It's the Rapids, what is it? Rapids Yurt Cap, what? Rapids? Hold on, let's go to the sign. If anybody wants to come here and book it and successfully make the fire, let me tell you what the name is. Although I think I did mention it earlier. Come on, come on kid. Woo, how do you keep losing your boot? Hi, Mr. Bootless. Come on. Rapids Camp Yurt. If anybody wants to rent it. <laughs> Man. Okay, we'll see you back at Poe. I'm so tired. The last couple of days have taken a lot out of me. And Blue too. Blue slept so much today. I haven't seen him sleep like that in a long time. I think he's just like, <laughs> uh, mom, what's up with all this hiking in the middle of the night? Like, excuse me. This is my new invention of how I keep the door cracked for the buddy heater without it swinging open while I'm asleep. So I just tie a bungee cord to the uh, sink door. And then we have airflow. It won't just swing wide open. you guys oh my gosh this looks so good the thing that i love about peak refuel meals is like it's the closest freeze-dried food i've found that's like it's like actual home-cooked food like it looks like you would get it at a restaurant you know yep yep i think blue and i are just like whooped And I still gotta get Poe ready for our diesel heater appointment tomorrow. I can't believe the diesel heater already broke. That's crazy. Like, that's just, that's just my luck. You cannot make this up. <laughs> uh, 
sometimes stuff is so frustrating though. So frustrating. Okay. What? This is so good. Seconds, you still have to find a way to get off the ball. You have to dismount the ball. And furthermore, these guys do it for the love of the game. I'm uh. Hi, baby. How you doing? Oh, big stretch. Hi. I gotta get up. Holy condensation. Do you think it's gonna be an easy fix? Or no? Place your butt. I love that you're so positive. Honey bun. Look how cute this dog is. You're telling me this dog isn't the cutest dog you've ever seen. Are you kidding? What the heck? So just but it just died by hitting this? Mm -hmm. It was at 41% and I pushed the power button to reset it to turn it off and then turn it back on and it won't turn back on. Cool. Jacker just died, I guess. Alright, we're backing up Poe to bring him into the shop because in the middle of trying to figure out what was going on with the diesel heater, my Jackery just died. Just fried. <laughs> I literally can't make this up. This is what Murphy's Law is. One thing goes wrong and then everything goes wrong. Out of a Jackery, out of a diesel heater, yurt failure, what else is going on? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Because this is all sticky. Uh huh. So this looks melted. Why would it have melted? Uh, if it arced out, it melted. Okay. Because this completely damaged. Yeah. Inside of there, it looks okay. Okay. So, just so another it may one just be the connector. Okay. Oh, there's the smoke. Poof. Is that good or bad? That's good. It means that it's fire. Maybe. It wasn't doing that earlier. He said maybe. No <laughs> See, it wasn't pouring out earlier. Like, yeah, I was doing that was trickle. Yeah. It looked like a smoke waterfall. It was so flooded with diesel. The diesel heater has been fixed. If you can hear the loud noise of it running. The entire intake was just clogged with snow and ice. So they emptied it, they cut it shorter, and then they put it over by my cross member so hopefully we don't have the same problem in the future so that is good the diesel heater was just getting flooded with diesel which is all the kickback that you guys saw so diesel heater hopefully that doesn't happen again so as far as the jackery goes we were able to get it to turn on but all of the cords were destroyed because i guess i had left a coffee on the counter and it had spilled behind the jackery and totally like 
either corroded the cords or caused them to like melt together somehow. I don't know, it was my fault. So I have parts to order for the Jackery and for the charging setup and then I'll go back to Charlie's and we will get that fixed. So all in all, better news than what I thought when I got to the shop. You know, I was afraid some of this wasn't gonna be fixable. Looks like in a couple weeks everything will be back to brand new, running just as it should. <laughs> I've been reflecting in the last few days just because I tend to do that when a bunch of stuff goes wrong and I genuinely, you guys, that walk back from the yurt was genuinely the most scared I've ever been truck camping. That was the, I never get scared. That was the most scared I've ever been. I'm not joking. It was the freakiest feeling. Like just something was watching you and I felt like I had a bear about to attack me at any moment. It was so crazy. So all that to say, I'm very glad after the last few days that Blue and I are healthy and happy and alive and that Poe is running because things could be a lot worse. I could be stranded with a dead Land Rover. I could be being attacked by a bear. Blue could be cold, shivering in a year. Like, I think when things go wrong on the road, you kind of always have to like bring yourself to a place where like, it could be worse, you're doing good, it's all gonna be okay, count your blessings. You know what I mean? So, yeah. <laughs> I'm stealth camping in town right now. I have no idea if I'm allowed here, but I'm gonna try to get some sleep because your girl is exhausted. Okay? All right, bye. See you in the next one.